Hey, all my webheads out there, guys. Welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. I'm your host, Mike Spider Slayer. And guys, yes, I am super sick, and yes, I'm doing a video, and you're probably wondering, why are you doing videos? You should just rest. Well, I've been resting for the past three days, and I've been stuck in this room, and I have to do something to keep myself occupied. So what I decided to do was, I knew I had some comic books somewhere, and I have not gone through them in a while. So I took them out, we're going to go through them, and we're going to see which books they are. So probably nothing special, but I just thought it'd be a fun video to pass the time anyway. So let's check out and see what these comics are. Alright, so the first book I'm showing you, boom, there it is. Deathlock, issue one, collector's item, the mean, the machine, now monthly. Pretty cool. Not worth anything, probably. 90s book typical it's got like a foil cover on there and then it looks like this is going to be a run but you can see some cool covers here with Deathlock Deathlock issue 2 and we got guest starring Forge the X-Men so that's on there then we have Deathlock issue 3 as these two are battling out against e each other isn't it kind of an homage to Iron Man versus Doom so I thought that was cool. Then we have issue four. This is definitely a run. That's an interesting color. Then we have issue five. I thought this one was pretty cool as we get to see the Fantastic Four with Death Lock and Wolverine. So that's pretty fun. Death Lock issue six. So that's cool. Death Lock issue seven. That's an ugly cover. It's like Punisher and Deathlock together. Die, Deathlock. People will love this from the 90s, right? Ghost Rider versus Deathlock. And probably none of these comics have any value to them whatsoever. They're just cool to have. Again, the story arc continues. Ghost Rider versus Deathlock round two. Target, Deathlock. This is issue 11, Up Against the Wall. And then I have comics in this weird box. Eventually we'll get there. <laughs> Deathlock, issue 12. Deathlock, issue 13. Here's Deathlock issue 14. If you've never seen covers for Deathlock before, well, there you go. The Biohazard Agenda, the Deathlock Last Mile. This is an Infinity War crossover. Deathlock versus Deathlock. Dead Ringers. Cyber War, Deathlock, Part 1 of 5, Issue 17. Look at how his helmet's getting smashed in. That's pretty cool. Cyber War Continues, Part 2 of 5. This is Issue 18. Well, that's pretty cool. It's got Silver Sable on there. Check out this bad boy. This is a foil cover at its finest right here. Cyber War Deathlock Part 3 of 5. Check that out, man. That's cool. Cyber War Deathlock Part 4 of 5. Look at the corner box there. Deathlock Issue 21. This, this run went on for quite a while. The annual for Deathlock. Annual issue one. Oh, new book. Fantastic Four issue 275 with She Hulk on there. And the supposed of Stan Lee. What a great cover. It's not Dan Lee, uh, Stan Lee, it's somebody else, but that's cool. This book's in rough shape. Look at all those ticks on there. 
But still, nice, cool little book to have there. That's awesome. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'll put this away. Maximum Carnage. The awesome conclusion. Spider-Man Unlimited, issue two. What a great looking cover that is. Wow. Face to face with Carnage and Venom gets the winner. That is sweet. Another Spider-Man book. Peter Par Parker, Spider-Man, issue 13, when Carnage comes calling. That's crazy. Great cover. More Spider-Man. Spider-Man issue 52. The clone against the Spider-Man's most, le most lethal four. Most, most lethal foe. Got sick brain on me, man. Part two of four. That's a cool cover. Here we have issue 53. Part four of four. Oh, that's awesome. Look at Eddie Brock. He's got like total mullet going on there. Oh, this is nice. Marvel Comics presents Wolverine issue 119. Wolverine and Venom. A great cover. Marvel Comics presents issue 120. That is crazy. Really cool stuff there. Marvel Comics presents Wolverine issue 121. Look at these two fighting, man. That's so badass. And then here's a Fanny, fantasy masterpiece starring the Silver Surfer issue 14. Sooner or later, it has, has to happen. The, sur the Surfer battles Spider-Man. Wow, that's pretty cool. All right. Now we're going to get to this box in here. So we're going to open that sucker up. And we're going to see what's inside. I'm a little afraid. Oh my God, it's not opening. Oh, what is going on in here? Oh my God. It's Darkhawk. Holy cow. There's all kinds of Darkhawk books in here. Oh man, let's go through this. I gotta get these bagged and boarded. Holy shit. I totally forgot about this. Darkhawk issue one. It's Darkhawk issue two. These are all kind of bent. They're not in bad shape though. Here we got Spider-Man guest starring. It's not right unless Spider-Man guest stars. Dude, he's fighting a hobgoblin there. That's so freaking sweet. And we have issue three. Hobgoblin is still there. It's pretty cool. Let me get this box situated here. Move this over. Darkhawk issue four. I mean, I gotta get inventive while sick doing videos, right? Darkhawk issue six. So we don't have five, but we have six. Captain America and Daredevil on there. Daredevil issue, or Daredevil. Darkhawk issue seven. Man, when you're sick, you can't think right. Look at the Wolverine blades. Darkhawk, issue nine. Darkhawk, issue 10. Darkhawk, issue 11. These are not even bagged. Darkhawk, issue 12. Oh, here's a sweet ass cover. I remember this. Darkhawk issue 13. Look at that. That is so freaking cool. Wow. Let's put this off to the side. There's another one with Venom in there. Darkhawk issue 14.
Darkhawk, issue 15. Darkhawk, issue 16. I think I won these off of eBay or something one time. And I opened them up once and I put them away and I totally forgot about them. Darkhawk, issue 17. I just kept them in this box. Darkhawk, 18. I almost have the whole run, it looks like. I don't know how many are in the run. Oh, this is sweet cover. Look at that, that's cool. Darkhawk, issue 19. Spider-Man on there. It's freaking sweet, dude. Darkhawk, issue 20. It's got Sleepwalker in there. Issue 21. That's creepy. Issue 22. Ghost Rider. Issue 23. Issue 24. Issue 25. Oh, wow. Look at that. This is like 90s foil goodness in here. These books are all in pretty good shape, man. Not bad. Again, they're probably not worth anything, but it's still a cool series to have. Darkhawk, issue 26, part of the New Warriors. Here we have 27. I guess when you're sick and you got nothing else better to do and you watch so many movies you don't know what to do with yourself it's better than to just clean out your books and find out what you have right there you go there's issue 28 here's 29 30 I know this might not be the most exciting video, but at least you get to see some of these. 31, when Thing was wearing his uh, his little mask. It's clobbering time on the Infinity Crusade. Pretty cool. 32. Thirty-three. Thirty-four. <clears throat> Thirty-five. Venom makes his return back. Thirty-six. Another book with Venom on it. Venom sells, baby. So that's what makes this book sells, right? Here's issue 37. There's 38. The new Darkhawk. And then we jump to 42, the biggest gap. That's pretty cool. Then we have an annual. <clears throat> the first one where he's either teaming up or going against Iron Man there. And then we have annual number two. 64 pages for 295 guys. Jeez. Comics have gotten so expensive. So there you have it guys, there's just a little video that I should share with you on just some books I forgot that existed in my collection. And being that I'm sick and I didn't have anything to do, I just thought I would do it and pass some time. So 
I'm glad I could do it. Hopefully you guys are safe. And as always, guys, if you love my videos, I'll leave you more content to check out. And always, guys, keep buying, keep collecting, but most importantly, read your comics. Guys, I'll see you real soon. Have a wonderful weekend.